Jesse Vargas is now fighting Thomas Delorme for the WBC silver title, and the winner could become mandatory for Sean Porter. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Jesse Vargas, he tweeted this. It's also on DAZN on their Twitter account. And it says, news just came out. In my fight with Thomas Delorme, October 6th in Chicago, will now be for the WBC Boxing Silver title. We expect the winner to become the mandatory challenger to Sean Porter. Don't miss the fight live on DAZN. Hashtag Vargas Delorme. Arter Better B is on that card, as well as Gerald Big Baby Miller versus Thomas Adamak. So, this is now sanctioned as a WBC Silver fight you know there's just a lot of belts in boxing and sean porter he kept fighting eliminators like he fought birdo then he fought adrian granados you know for the silver title then he finally got his shot with danny garcia after keith thurman pretty much was forced to relinquish the belts because he's been on the sidelines and danny garcia sean porter fought went to the fight covered the fight as media good fight sean porter beat him and now he's the champion. This news about Jesse Vargas and Thomas Delorme fight being sanctioned. I mean, me personally, I like Jesse Vargas. He's a veteran in the sport. You know, he's he's definitely willing to fight the best. He was down to fight Kell Brook at a point in time. He did fight Pacquiao, and that's who he lost his, his WBO strap to. And Pacquiao le later lost it to Jeff Horn, who lost it to now WBO champion Terrence Crawford. Um, Jesse Vargas fought Josito Lopez, Tim Bradley, so Broner, you know, he, he's a good fighter. He, he's definitely game, but I'm not really super excited for the Thomas Delorme fight. Plus, I think for DAZN, it's happening at a terrible date because it's the return of Conor McGregor in the UFC. Now, they're both combat fighting sports, and we just know that, you know, it's, it's just, it, it's not really sensible to compete with Conor McGregor's fight, which... It's already garnering a lot of attention because of, you know, just the antics. Conor McGregor is really a showman. Thomas Delorme nor Jesse Vargas really go, you know, go out to out of their way to build the fight. They just kind of show up and fight. Thomas Delorme, he's solid, but I haven't really seen much activity. He lost to you guys, got stopped by Terrence Crawford, stopped by Luis uh, Carlos Abrego, who lost to Saddam Ali, who lost to Jesse Vargas. You know, it's funny how that works. So, you know, now that Vargas versus Delorme is worth a title, that's cool. You know, I mean, I'm not knocking it good for them, but I just think the date is, is all wrong for this particular fight with the Conor McGregor fight going on. And it's going to be a lot of eyes elsewhere. But beyond that, the thing I fear is Errol Spence has been calling out the top names for so long. Keith Thurman. He's still, we still don't know when he's coming back, right? He's injured. He says he's coming back and it's not going to be against Errol Spence. He has to fight tune-ups, right? Then he relinquishes his belt. Danny Garcia and Sean Porter fight for the belt. But now it's looking like Jesse Vargas and Thomas Delorme, the winner of this fight, has a shot to maybe get ordered as the mandatory. You know, that's how usually the interim and the silver belts work. And I'd much rather see Errol Spence, who got in the ring after Sean Porter, after he beat Danny Garcia and called him out. And I was at that fight and even at the press conference, they exchanged, um, you know, words and Errol Spence expressed how much he wanted to fight Sean Porter, you know. And I think that fight should take precedence because, again, like I said, no knock on Jesse Vargas, but his fight with Thomas Delorme is not really a huge fight and it's. Basically, you're fighting for the position to become mandatory. 
and he's coming off a draw to Adrian Broner. I thought actually thought Broner won that fight. I was at that fight too, so I, maybe I got to watch it again. But you know, it's just I, I think Errol Spence is the most deserving of a Sean Porter fight. But that's the latest. We'll see how it plays out. Um, let me know how excited you are for Vargas Delorme. Let me know what shot you give Delorme, and drop your thoughts in the comment section. It's just I just think there's a lot of title in each division, and we want to see unifications, I think, most boxing fans. So instead of consolidating or unifying with silver and interim titles, when there's big fights to be made and both guys are saying they're on board, like Errol Spence, Sean Porter, I really feel that should be the priority for boxing. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.